Hey, uh, just to keep this a little bit shorter in terms of the video length, what I've done is I've already changed a few things and I'm going to kind of like walk you through uh, and show you what I've done. I'll show you the final result right here first. Uh, let's take a look at that. Let's open the application and you'll be able to see how it's different. So what is different so far? Actually, let me, let's go ahead and refresh that again. So what's different? Over here, if you look at the tab up in the browser, we actually changed the name of the game to Unicorn, and we added a uh, little Unicorn emoji over here. We've changed the color theme, including uh, also changed the font here as well. And I'll show you, uh, you know, where we get that information uh, that we can change. Uh, now go ahead and log in and show you what else has changed. Welcome to Unicorn. So we even changed the voice. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that. And we know, changed the music there, at least the first song. We changed that music. And we changed the color of these uh, objects right here to go with the color theme, as well as the environment. So this entire environment is different. We still have that sky island up there, but you know the entire environment has pretty much changed. Along with you know, these colors of these shapes. So how, how do we do this? How do we accomplish this? I'm going to press zero, first of all, to toggle the mute. And let's go to the public directory, clientconfig.js file. Now right up here on line two, you can see where I changed the name of the, the game to Unicorn. And then I just pasted an emoji I got from this website. And I'll show you right over here, emojipedia.org. Right over there, you can just go to that website. I'll just show you and pick out an emoji. Here's a popular emoji, a heart. Here's a hamburger, food and drink. Maybe I want to have, you know, over here, popcorn or something. Who knows? Yeah, you can copy that. And then you can just paste it in. Paste it in over this emoji, and then it will just add that right up there in the tab. Now, if you didn't want any, you can just leave that as a, an empty set of quotes if you don't want any emoji at the end of it. All right. And then I changed the font family to Rustlin Display. I just found that font over here at Google. So the fonts.google.com, we'll just copy that. We'll go to that website. You can basically just look through and say, hey, yeah, I like, there's like hundreds of fonts. You can take all day looking through fonts. And yeah, there's that wrestling display one that I chose, but you can get any of these, Indie Flower, you can get any of these fonts. And it's just, it's just a matter of, let's see if I can maybe change, change it to something else. Let's see if I find something else I like. But anyway, so you just pick the font name itself. Um, there's something that really grabs me. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like this one. Chango. Just copy the name of the font, literally. Just copy the name. Go over here. Here's the place where you put it in. And just replace that. Boom. Change the name and I'll look at it. There it is. Boom. Now maybe it's a little bit too big. See how it's kind of going over there a little bit? What we like to do is try to keep it within this range. So it's a little large. So right over here, it says font size. Let's bring the font size down to two. See what that does. And it spins up again. And you can force a refresh if you need to. There we go. Oh, that looks better. It size two, you see what I'm saying? So we can even just change that font size right in there. What else? Okay, so uh, if we look at all these things, the, these colors, you can literally just get the colors from a color picker. These are, this is a hex color, this is a hex color, and then this is an RGBA color. So how would you find that color picker? picker? There's a bunch of options. You can just literally search up color picker RGBA would be good because you want to get one that has RGBA. So this is a good one at Mozilla. There's all kinds of places. You can even change the numbers yourself if you want to. But you just pick out... Um, the only one you have to worry about having like an alpha value that really you care about that is the overlay color. And the, what the overlay is, it's this outside area that you can see through partly. So if you want to make it more see through, 
you make it a lower number closer to zero. If you make want to make it more opaque or completely opaque will be one. So the value will go from zero to one. So in the color picker, one, it means completely opaque. You can't see through it. 0 0.5 will be half see-through, 0.7 will be, you know, 30% see-through, if you will. Um, so for these two, at least, for the, this is the form color, and this is the font color. So over here we have the form color and the font color. So the font color is for the font color, and this is the form color, and then this is the overlay. And just pop them in there from a color picker tool where you can set the RGBA value. If you were doing an RGBA, like if I set this to 0 0.7, for example, then I wanted to pick some color like this. I could pick that as a color. Then there you can see it's the RGBA value. Then you copy it and you put it back in over here and it will change it. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. Maybe I will. I'm going to get crazy. Change it. Okay, let's do it. Let's change it. Oh, I still had Django. I didn't even copy that. What? There we go. I'm going to copy that. No. No, I got it. I think I got it. There we go. And let's go see the overlay. The new overlay color. If it loads it. Let's refresh it again. There we go. With the new overlay color. Maybe, maybe that's better. Perhaps. Okay. Anyway, that's uh, that's how to change that. And then we can go down further and we can change all kind of other things. You can change the avatar speed. We'll get to the modeling later on for changing the actual avatar models. You can change the message color, the message that appears above the characters. So maybe I would change this to a really deep pink, like a wine color for this color theme. Oh, if you look at it, right? I guess blue goes. Already, it's already blue right now, so blue would still go with that. But you can pick a color for the, the messages that appear above the characters. Uh, you can change the preset. Maybe we'll do that. So it's currently, currently has a really nice preset for the way I have it currently. But let's do another one. Let's go change it. So if we go over to the readme file, just go down and look at this GIF right here. That's what I currently have it as contact. I'm going to use, um, right, uh, I'll use, not that one. Arches, Tron, Japan, no, Dream. I'm going to use Dream. Yeah, I'll use Dream. Okay, so I'll just go over here, change contact to Dream. Now watch how fast that is. Boom. Go over here, and it just changes it to Dream. Again, sometimes it just pays to refresh it. So now it's Dream. Now things might be in some weird placement. Now watch this. So admin, log in here. Oh, that's my password. I did not even look what I was doing. Some cat's block. <laughs> and if you notice right Welcome here. Welcome to Unicorn. If you notice this, I'm right in the middle of this big thing of mushrooms. That's not good. When I spawned, right? Wow. So how can you deal with that? I really like this world. It kind of goes with the color scheme. I mean, there's a lot of pink going on, but how can I make those mushrooms appear somewhere else? I'll show you. So I'm going to go to zero there to mute that. Let's just go over here. Uh, where the seed value is, that's w w one way of doing it. So I can make make the seed to maybe 0 0.9, and that will change uh, wherever the, uh, the placement of the uh, mushrooms. doesn't look like it's far enough away, actually. Let's go over here. Another thing I can do is I can increase the play area or de decrease the dressing amount. Let me actually make this seed. Let me make it rather than 0 0.9. Let me make it 2. Let's see how much that changes it. Still, let me see. Let me log in and see where this is at. Welcome to Unicorn. Okay, so that did it. Put it that, that far away, so I'm not having that. So I might want to, so let me go ahead and mute that. So in terms of placing over here, dressing variance, that's another possible value that can change it. Um, 
but then we go over here addressing amounts that's how many of those mushrooms in this case are going to show up let me just change the dressing variance right here it's going to like change the variety and the width and the different sizes and the height of them that's not that's not probably going to do it Matter of fact, right now, I'm just going to switch it back to contact rather than play with that too much right now. Let me just go back to contact. But you can. You can play with that. There we go. So I'm back in a good place. You can play with that. You can If you increase the play area, that will just ensure that you have a bigger um, area uh, that's flat. Um, what if I threw the play area up to three? three let's see what that's going to do and what if i change it back to dream let me see just to go ahead and see if that would do it no i'm still yeah i'm still right in the midst of those mushrooms that's not going to do it so i'll just keep that play area what it was like 1.3 and i'll put that at contact again okay but if you dig in, you can dig in uh, to all the information that's over at this website right here and get more information about the environment. Um, that said, um, I changed the song. I added that box song from SoundCloud. Let's go look at that. Well, I also, look, before we get to that, let's actually look at the, the color. So the form color, I just took the same color as the form color, and I copied it, and I went down here, and I just changed that to... Uh, the geometry that was of the movable objects, those movable objects, I just changed three of their colors to exactly the same as the form color to make it go along with the color theme better. And you can also do it for the mobile uh, color for the joystick as well. So many other things, even the thruster color for the thruster of the characters when they fly. Many, many things. But the idea is that this file right here is easily editable. Let's do one last thing here. Let's take a look at the um, songs. If we go to SoundCloud, so let's just do that. Go to SoundCloud. And here I will look up flute maybe now. Flute. And let's maybe this flute right here. You click the share button. If it has an embed, section then you'll probably it'll probably work it needs to have at least an embed section when you press share then you're going to copy the embed code i like to open it up and just whatever i'm going to use this website called editpad.org just to paste it in and then you're going to look for the word tracks and forward slash inside of the embed code and then you're going to grab the number right after that and that's the number we're looking for that's the song number track number so we're going to go back into here and i'm going to go ahead and just pop that song number in there a track number and put a comma after it and now i'm going to go back and check if we got that new song it should be a flute song right or like a let's just go ahead and refresh it and let's go see if that song's actually going to work not all of them do most of them do <laughs> Welcome to Unicorn. Okay, so there we go. Oh, that works. That's nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, we could even add rain uh, in this environment, too. I'm not going to do that right now to go along with the sounds, though, but we could definitely add, it, add rain in here as well. Go ahead and mute that for right now. Very good. Okay, we'll uh, actually do one more thing. Let's look at this, this Ava voice. It's the voice that we heard talking right there. Let's go see how we change that. So over in the browser, right click in the browser. Uh, so if you right click and choose inspect, it will open up the developer tools. Hopefully you're in Chrome. I suggest, highly suggest Chrome. Let's go over here and clear the console by pressing that little button. And what we're gonna do is go print voices. This was available to you over here, and you can see all the voices. It's something that I made available as a global uh, function. So over here, let's look at another English. Uh, let's look at Bruce. What about what about Bruce? Let's go see how Bruce would sound. Let's clear that. 
And let's change this from Ava to Bruce. So if you actually wanted to test it out ahead of time, you can just use say what you want to say, and then comma, and then the name of the character. So. Do you like games? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's, that's a little bit disconcerting. I don't want to have... <laughs> Bruce will scare people away. What about Karen with an Australian English accent? Karen. Great. Let's do that. Let's try Karen. Okay. Bye, Bruce. Have a good Karen. See how she does. Do you like games? Okay. That's all right. Let's go check one, one more. Okay, let's just go back and do uh, print voices again. Okay, I see another one here. Okay, um, blah, 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 blah. Look through this. Oh, it's re reloading already. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yes, the server will reload. This is at glitch, so we have to honor the fact this is like a, just a development server. It's not supposed to be a full blast deployment server. But let's look at this one, Daniel. Okay, Daniel uh, with a British accent. Let's try Daniel. All right, Daniel, how do you sound? Do you like games? All right, Daniel, yeah. Let's put Daniel in there. And whoops, and replace Ava with Daniel. And let's go ahead and log in and hear Daniel welcome us. And let's listen to it, okay. Welcome to Unicon. Okay, I'm so welcome. Okay, uh, anyway, there's so many more things uh, that can be edited very easily. Uh, too many things. We're going to be having some special videos on making avatar characters and animating them and everything, but just wanted to give you an idea of how quickly you can jump in and edit stuff. Well, I hope you like that. Have a great day.